The difference between the Armin guillotine and the regular guillotine. I made a video on this about squeezing the hose and bending the hose. Two ways to stop water from coming out of a hose. Well, it's the same way to stop blood from going to the brain. We squeeze it or we crimp it and bend it, right? So let me show you what that actually looks like. People confuse it, the, the pressures you put when you do a regular guillotine and when you do an arm in guillotine. When we do the regular guillotine, no arm in, we make the fist, lock it, put this piece of wrist under the throat, grab it, and I like to do the Marcellotine, Marcella Garcia, elbow goes up, and now once my elbow's up, I'm just squeezing his neck, squeezing for the finish, and he taps. When the arm is in, we don't do that. The arm is in, we do the same thing, same grip, wrist goes under the throat, saw it up to the neck. When we fall out, come on this side, we put the head, instead of squeezing, I wanna put his head into his belly. I actually make a crunch. Everything's down and in. I want his head to literally do this. See that streak, that sweat streak? That's what we want. While we're pushing his head down, crimping the hose, we're pulling our wrist through his neck at the same time. So arm in looks like this. See how my head's pushing in? Arm out looks like this. I just stay here and squeeze. I don't move his head at all. For more secrets of the guillotine, go to matteroy.com and check out my guillotine blueprint.